uh, does Matt Rule fit at some of these big jobs? And the reason, of course, that I bring this up, if you listened to the college football rundown that I do on the days when we don't do one of these full shows, uh, he was fired from the Carolina Panthers. So that is, obviously, a big-name candidate for college football openings across the country, namely Nebraska, Auburn, if and when it opens, uh, Arizona State, etc. There are a ton of options for Matt Rule right now if he wants to get back into the game. And the fact that he was fired from Carolina early is maybe uh, a, a maybe that gives you a little more insight. Maybe it uh, it helps you if you're Matt Rule, of course. Maybe it helps you get back on the horse quicker. Uh, whereas if you had coached through most of this season and had taken all those losses, etc., uh, you aren't just jumping from one job to another. Now you have time to breathe. For a little bit, so you might could jump in and take over a job. The question is, does he want the stress of being a college football head coach with all of the different things that have changed since he left just a few short years ago? Uh, he's only been the head coach for two and a half seasons, uh, but things were changing with him immediately, right? Like they've got a lot that he's got to figure out. He did have he had the foresight to hire Joey McGuire at Baylor and. McGuire helped build that roster significantly. My question is, is he going to be able to utilize the transfer portal? He Because he never had to do that in the past. Is he going to be able to uh, recruit if you're going to a big-name job? If you are at Nebraska, you are expected to be able to recruit at a high level, uh, whether it be from the portal or from high school, right? You You need to be able to do that. Maybe it fits better at Nebraska where you don't necessarily have to get the highest rated recruits. You just got to get guys that can play and you can develop them into good football players. But at these big name schools, you're going to have to be able to get the best players because they are going to expect you to compete for championships. While he did that in the Big 12, I don't know if you can do that necessarily in the Big 10. Can you find the diamonds in the rough and turn them into Big 10 title contenders? Uh, because once if they are going to pay just a ridiculous amount of money, that's what they are going to expect. They are going to expect you to get to the championship game at some point and probably some point soon. It will be a bit of a pressure cooker. Now, it, when it begins, obviously, they will be happy with going to a bowl game. They will be happy with going 9-3 and three or whatever it may be when the schedule fits correctly. Eventually, you do that enough times and you are going to have to take that next step. Have we ever seen Matt Rule take that next step? And that's that's where the question comes in with a lot of these guys, right? Matt Campbell, etc. If you got the coaching chops, you got the coaching chops. Obviously, Matt Rule knows what he's doing, but there are questions about this. So does Rule want to do it? And if you're in Nebraska or whoever else, do you want to do that? Do you want to give somebody like him one of these mega contracts that we just talked about with Brian Kelly and Mel Tucker, etc.? Do you do that? Because if you if you do that and it doesn't work, it can set your football program back another decade, et cetera. I mean, there are issues there. So uh, a lot of questions. A lot of questions for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.